I'm here on my Kia EV9. Today, I'm going to talk about utility mode, which is an important concept to understand. Now, we want to start by thinking this from a gas car point of view. Let's say we have a gas car and I'm parked uh, in the parking lot, maybe waiting for my kids or something, and I want to listen to the radio or maybe it's cold and I want to switch on the heating. So what I would do is not put my foot on the brake and hit the start button, right? This happens in the EV9, but also in the gas car. Hit it one time. And you can see the car enters accessory mode. And what that means is that it is using the batteries, the 12 volt battery to power things like radio and lights and so forth. And as you know, if I leave this on for a while, it's going to drain the 12 volt battery. And it is a very, very bad thing for an EV. In a gas car, eventually you will have the same problem. But the um, 12 volt battery in the Kia EV9 is uh, a very, very low capacity. So this is a, a, a real problem. So basically, you don't really want to be in accessory mode. And also in this mode, the step one, uh, radio works, light should work. Let me try here, right? Light works, uh, not heating and cooling. If I hit the start button a second time, right, the car comes on. You can hear that the fan is going now but the car is still not in a ready to drive mode. If I put my foot on the brake and try to shift out of gear, let me see if I can do this. You can see that it lets me go into neutral, but it will not go into drive because the car is still not in what is called the ready mode. Meanwhile, oh, this is good. You see this orange light is on now. So what's going on here is that that orange light is really a, a warning light for technicians. So people tend to uh, confuse the reason for it. All this means if the orange light is on, it means that the high volt battery, that the, the battery pack is now being used and we have high voltage running through the car. So this is actually for service technician to know that even though the car is not in a drivable state, the car is not in ready mode, the high volt battery is running, and therefore be careful if you work on the car inside under the hood or something. And the high voltage battery is being used right now to hopefully charge up the 12 volt battery that we were using. But this is something that I do not know. If you know, give me the answer in the comments below. Um, that it is used to run the HVAC maybe. But the key here is we don't want to put the EV9 in this accessory or the accessory plus I'm calling it mode. So from the off state, what I want to do is to put my foot on the brake, start the car up, and the car is in ready mode, right? So. Normally, you would be driving off, but instead, I can still sit here and wait for my kids, play the radio, heat up the car with HJAC, because the car is basically on. And since the engine doesn't really exist, I'm not you know, burning up using the engine and, and pumping uh, pollutants out of the back, right? So the car is basically on, and you can sit here and enjoy the car for a while. The difference is, in this mode, eventually, the car is going to warn you and shut itself off saying you've been parked for 90 minutes or so. So there is this thing called utility mode. I'm going to go into setup. EV. Utility mode. And this is the thing. So it says use high voltage battery while the vehicle is off to power electric devices such as audio, lighting, etc. So, uh, this is useful when parked for a long time. So I'm just going to hit this thing on, activating. The dash says utility mode, and that's it. So if you are going to be parked for a while, it makes sense to switch this mode on, and you can not only enjoy all the amenities, um, the car will stay in this mode until 
you disable it by pressing the start button. So at this point, again, the car cannot be shift. It says shift condition, not bad. So technically, you don't have to do this. It is just a good practice, especially if you are going to be parked for a long time. So this is the utility mode. So I hope I understand it is really, it's kind of confusing. Uh, in short, you do not really have to use this if you are just going to be parked for 30 minutes or so, right? Just leave the car on and just use the car as it is. But if you know you're going to be in this mode for a long time, maybe you're watching a kid's soccer game, have this thing set on, um, then you can get in and out of the car and leave it running and everything will be fine. Finally, I say to get out of it because eventually you want to drive off the car you want to press the start button and now the car is off and you can just restart the car and then you can drive off so here we go foot on the brake car should be ready and then I can get off so remember Accessory mode, bad. Ready mode, good. As utility mode, useful but not absolutely required.